Hey guys, the Master Builder here with my first, you could say it's a roleplay review, although it's more, yeah, it's a roleplay review pretty much. But for this first roleplay review, we are going to be doing the 11th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver from Doctor Who. I'll explain that. <laughs> And then for the second review, we will be doing this Sonic Screwdriver. And then eventually we'll get on to lightsabers. <laughs> so, look, look forward to, look, look uh, forward to that. But, um, anyway, I do not have a box to this screwdriver, this Sonic Screwdriver. So, I'm just gonna show you a picture of the box right now. Alright, so that was the box, and of course the back of the box maybe. I don't know, because I haven't looked up the pictures yet, so, yeah. Anyway, let's just get started with the Basically, it's a pretty nice design. Looks a lot, looks a lot like it did in the show. Except, there's no buttons. Well, there are buttons. Let's see. How else would he do that <laughs> in the show? But in the show, uh, the doctor just flicks it and it goes, "Whoa!" Like it goes, Whoosh. but um, it's spring loaded, so and you just do that and close it up. Press the button, grab it, close it. Pretty simple. Okay, so first we're gonna go over uh, detail, then play features, and yeah. And then let's just get started. Okay, so to start off with the colors of this screwdriver, you have gold, white, gold, black, gold, gold, and uh, you have a sticker right there. You can peel that off if you want. I don't know if you're supposed to peel it off, but silver screws very well, not very well hidden, but sort of looks pretty good with them. Silver, green. That's pretty much it for details. Uh, there are like metal, like weaving details in there, and there's like a stitch detail right here. You can sort of see. Uh, this is uh, you can sort of see how it's like a pencil a little bit. And now we're gonna go back to the other to the other end of the camera, and I'm gonna show you the play features. Actually, never mind. I'm not going to go to the other end because this is probably going to be easier. Alright, so there are two buttons. This round one, that's your standard. Actually, no, that's standard. That's the second one. And then three presses does that. Four presses goes. Pretty neat. This red button is not accurate to the show. But. It's, it, uh, is to do the sound when you press this higher button to do this, because the button has been moved up to there. You can't use it. So, same rules, you, one, two, and then one, two, three, four. Pretty simple. But, if you'd rather be more screen accurate, you can close, you can like seal that up, and then you can just put your finger right there. Same, same rules, just a little bit harder. And then, if you want to know where the batteries are, I'm going to show that to you. Twist, let that out, uh, you can probably just press the button before you do that, so. Press the button, pull that, oh, well not pull it, just Make sure you're facing this way, like to, with the stitch towards you. Twist a little tiny bit. Pull up. That's the battery compartment. And then you're left with an empty shell right here. But, but basically, this is the battery compartment right here. It takes a uh, couple of watch, like three, three watch batteries, I think. I think that's what's in there. I know it's watch batteries, so. And you just put it back on, twist it. Close that up, and 
and did that sound effect for some odd reason. Uh, sometimes they'll just do random sound effects, but depends. So that was a pretty quick review. How about that? Quicker than the TARDIS review. So I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts. All right. So is this worth? Is this sonic screwdriver worth getting? If you're a fan of Doctor Who, yes. But it's it's a pretty cool sonic screwdriver. It's got the spring loaded stuff. It's got the the lights and sounds. And it's just cool to like you can put it on display like this, you can put it on display like this. You can do either one. Or you can buy two and put one on display like this and then you put one on display like that. And it's great for uh, cosplay because it's pretty well detailed and yeah. I mean, I went to Comic Con as the 11th Doctor, and I used this, so that was pretty fun. <laughs> but uh, yes, this is worth getting completely. And uh, yeah, if you would like to see my last Nerf review, which is probably the one if you clicked on it in the last in the uh, last review. Uh, the role play, then, well, it's the same one, but you can click on it right You'd like to see, uh, if you'd like to see my last label of you, okay, okay. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This is Master Builder, saying, bye!